So what we're going to do is bring this green screen smoke that is in the description, download it, drop it in here, delete the voice because you don't need it or anything like that, the audio. You're going to find a bit where the screen covers just like this, going to change the scale to 150, going to write an ultra key in the effects, you're going to bring it onto your smoke screen, click the syringe, click on the green part. You're going to change the settings to relaxed, just so it's less aggressive. You're then going to change the scale to about 2, 3, 4, I think I had it last time. 2, 3, 4, yeah. And, and then it covers the whole screen. You're then going to bring in your clip that you want, your first clip even. Bring it underneath the green screen and cut it down to like the part you want. So I'm going to keep it to about this, just for the sake of the tutorial. Actually, I'm going to cut a bit off the end like this. Bring it to the start. You're going to find where the smoke covers the screen. Click cut. Move a few to the right. Click it using the arrow key on the keyboard. And cut again. Alt and drag up to uh, copy and paste it above so it's thicker. You're then going to cut the clip down like so, just so it ends where the smoke that we cut ends. Bring in your second clip. And it should look like this. If you want to make it a little bit better, because obviously the smoke's not that good, you're going to cut it like this at the end. You're going to change it to put a keyframe on the opacity. And then at the end, make another keyframe and set it to zero. So it fades out. It's not that great, but this is just a short tutorial. Do the, st the same, but the opposite. So that makes sense at the start. So set a keyframe of zero. And then just before the end, cut it, set another keyframe, sorry, to 100. You should have something like this. It's not the best, but what can you say as a two minute tutorial? There's only so much you can do. Remember, this is just for beginners, really simple. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.